all beautiful and wonderful souls. How are you all doing today? So we are going to do a color along from the rain. This book here by Nicholas Philbert Chandra Vianata. <laughs> He's also known as Nick Philbert. And we are doing Orbit for this color along. Now, I have cheated a little bit. As you can see, I've already done her skin and parts of her hair. I haven't done this area here for skin, so we're going to do this. I even started a flower, but don't worry. We're going to do the rest of the page together. It's just that I... I started filming her skin on camera and it didn't work out. I had to use a totally different color so I kind of had to get my motivation back and color her skin and figure out also a nice uh, color combination for hair, for black hair um, and flowers. So this is going to be a bit of a mixed media pencil page because I'm using both polys and prismas. So let's start with her skin. Right here we are using earth green and these are polychromos. Earth green, cinnamon, light flush, um, I am using a Prismacolor cream and a light pencil. So I'm going to zoom you in. I also have myself a hot cup of cocoa this morning. Well, it's not really morning now, but <laughs> oh well. Okay. <clears throat> the first step is our earth green. Okay. And I'm just going to put it um, with the medium pressure where those lines are because this is kind of grayscale um, and he just draws where he shows you where uh, where the uh, grayscale is like supposed to be So I'm just adding this green where those shadows are so we're done with that color. I'm going to go on top on that with cinnamon. Also with a medium <clears throat> pressure. So this is really just, you know, how to color olive tone, skin tone, and it's very simple. Skin tones does not have to be difficult or intimidating. I mean, you can get fabulous results if you want to. And you don't have to put in too much effort. You just have to blend the colors. Okay. So how is everyone doing? Do you have this book? Are you intimidated? <clears throat> Excuse me. I like just got it in the mail and I looked at this picture and I was like, oh my god, I have to color this straight away. <laughs> light flush just blending all of those colors together with a circle motion and fading it out I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing I'm just holding the pencil like 
straight up hold down really so I can get a good blend like so and then we're gonna go in with our cream and this I am being light with so I'm using a light to medium pressure and I am uh, blending it into the light flash and a little bit outwards I feel like I have to sneeze <laughs> I do <coughs> yeah okay <laughs> Excuse me, um, like so. Then we're gonna go in with our white and just go where the light part is in here. So I'm not gonna go over the shadows with the white pencil. And obviously, if you feel like you need some more cinnamon in there in the dark areas you can always add more I'm just seeing if I can get <clears throat> more of this color in there now let's zoom out as you can see this is oh sorry so this is how our skin is looking, all finished, and this is, like I said, this is an olive skin tone, so it works really well for oriental pages, for example, at least I find it does that. Um, so now we're going to move on to her hair, let me zoom you in, okay. And again, this is also with polychromos pencils. Ooh. Okay, so I am using, there we go, black, um, dark indigo, helio blue reddish. Cold gray five, four, yeah, four, cold gray four, <laughs> and cold gray three. So I'm starting off with my dark indigo, putting in mines where he has created, <laughs> sorry, those, <clears throat> Ooh. those shadow lines. Like so. Like that, and yeah, okay. Then we're gonna go in with our Helio Blue Reddish. Just kind of like over that. Now I'm just like putting it in in random spaces, just adding it in. Like so. Then with our cold gray, I'm going to like go over that helio blue reddish in some places. Then cold gray three. I used cold gray four. I don't think I said that. 
before. So this was call grade three. This going in all over. And then I'm just going to add some more dark indigo. And then we're going to go in with our black. To create those black hair strands. <clears throat> Just trying to cover up those white areas a bit more. I can always just add them in if I want them. So I'm just gonna go back in with my dark indigo. You can always just add in a little bit of a white pencil if you kind of want some highlights. Let's see if I can erase. Okay. <clears throat> and oh, we are going to do the brow. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here. with a black pencil and simply just color that in and just go in with dark indigo Going to clean up the lines a little bit. And ta da! Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how you can color this flower here. And we are using. Three colors. So I am using I am using Crimson Lake from Prismacolor, Mineral Orange, and Peach. So I am just using my Crimson Lake first. Here where the shadows are. And just at the center here, like so. Then I'm going to go in with our mineral orange, mix those two colors together, and fade it out. Like so. And then with our peach, I'm going back and just blending those two colors together and fading it out. Just going back in a little bit. Like so. And that's how 
we do that. Oh, I am so sorry. Then we're gonna go into another flower color combination. And I'm just going to do all of these flowers off camera. And then once I am done, I will come back. But I am going to do, okay, let me see. I need magenta. Uh, Palmer Grenade, Tuscan Red, and Canary Yellow. And I also have to sharpen <laughs> two of these colors. Okay. the colors we're going to use and I think we're going to do this flower here so I'm going in with Tuscan red Like so. Okay. Then I am going in with magenta. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm going in with pomegranate. That's it. <laughs> Sorry. Pomegranate and. Then magenta. And at the tip, I'm just going to add that and with a white, I'm going to blend it. That didn't exactly turn out, out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to erase that one now. Why did I do it so close to there? I have no idea. Wait, okay, now I remember. Okay, so I had to erase that one out. It's not fully erased. But it's okay. <laughs> but I figured out how it's supposed to look like. Okay. So I think I'm gonna have to do it with this petal here. So I'm just putting in a little bit of the Tuscan Red here on the tip. Kind of make like little strands so that our canary, canary red have something to mix onto. Then I'm going to go down here as well with the Tuscan red. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to go in with our Palmer grenade like down here. Like so. Can or yellow up here. And magenta. And 
That is how you're supposed to do that flower. Okay. Okay, so welcome back. As you can see, a lot has been done on this page. I'm going to show you it here so you can see how all of these color flowers are. I have started on some berries, on her cloak, um, just, you know, all of this. But I am going to show you how I'm going to do this pink flower. Um, if I can just find my colors. Okay, so the colors I'm going to be using is Tuscan Red, um, Pomegranate, Magenta, and Peach from Prismacolor. And I'm going to zoom you in. And I don't believe I have showed you how it is a yellow flower. And I do apologize. And afterwards, when I'm done with this uh, leaf right here, petal I meant, I'm going to show you it. I'm going to tell you the colors because sadly I can't show you it. Stupid me. But we're going to go in with our Tuscan Red. So, I just want to say that I did get a bit of an unpleasant surprise today by DHL, and that was, excuse me, that for my cool craft book um, purchase, I have to pay. 50 USD, which really sucks, to be honest, so, oh, I am so sorry, no, oh, come on, stay there, will ya? Okay, <laughs> sorry. I managed to knock it with my pencil. And then after I've, okay, oh my goodness. I've gone in with Tuscan Red and Pomegranate. Now I'm gonna go in with Magenta. Okay, just dusk some of that pencil test out. Then with Alary Peach. And voila, I have to <coughs> sneeze. <laughs> hey, <coughs> again. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is how it is looking. And I think we're going to go over to her eye. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you the colors for these yellow flowers here and like I said all of these color combinations are going to be in the description box below so if you don't understand fully what I am saying rest assured they're going to be in the in the description box so I've used mahogany red burnt ochre mineral orange and canary yellow so those are the color combinations that I've used for these yellow flowers um, but let's move on to her eye. I have already done the one, so now we're gonna have to do the other one. As you can see, here is her lovely eye. Love it. Okay, so the color I'm going to be using is Dioxazine 
purple hue for the iris and this I sharpened way too much so it got to like a real <laughs> sharp point I wasn't in Tending for that to happen. I'm going to use a black. I'm going to use um, ultramarine. Just kind of like go around that and do some tiny little line and really color on that shadow line there then we're gonna go in with our blue violet lake just color mix those two colors together and then Caribbean Sea Get away some of that pencil list We're gonna go in with our Dark and purple hue Create those little iris lines And just do some shading up here Okay, and then I just have to uh, sharpen my white pencil. Okay, and then I'm going to go in here. And then back in with our Dioxin Purple U just to make sure that it doesn't go over the iris. I am just again creating like tiny little lines and voila. Then we're gonna go in with Slight Gray and I'm going in where these shadow lines are in her eye and I'm just putting a light layer of that in there then with our white I'm going to color on top of that with a medium to hard pressure so I'm like burnishing here like so so it looks it doesn't look you know completely white like so okay and then the fun bit about it all okay i'm going to go in with a little bit of deco pink and like here both of these eyes there we go and then, if I can even find it, okay, I'm just going to use this one. So, uh, with the markers I bought a long time ago, with my Touch New, or Touch 5, or Touch 6, 7, 8, I don't know. I think it's the Touch 5 markers. I got uh, two gel pens, so I'm just going to use it. It's really, really nice, actually. Okay, so I just have to... Uh, Okay, there we go. I'm just making a dot here. Here and here, and then I'm going to make lots of teeny tiny dots right there. I am also going to add like 
So it looks like the eyeball is like round. And I'm just going to put some of this gel pen here and just here. So it kind of gives that, you know, round effect. And that's the eyes. Then we're going to go over to her mouth. Um, and I'm going to do the uh, orange flowers. So I just have to find the color combination for that. Okay, so I am using Crimson Lake. Mineral orange and ooh, peach. So, first up is our crimson lake, and I am going to put that where all of like the darkest lines are, like right here. I'm right here. Like so. Then I'm, I have to sharpen this pencil a little bit. And then we're going to go in with our mineral orange. Oh, I cannot believe that just happened. Sometimes I hate pencil sharpeners and sometimes I just hate Prismas. <sighs> okay. I just had to sharpen it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go in with our mineral orange and I'm gonna blend those two colors together and add it and add this mineral orange where all of those like lines are, like the shading lines are. Um, I haven't checked the post yet. Do what the? Okay. I haven't checked the post yet today. I am going to do that after when Vanessa is awake. So I'm really hoping Fragile World is come has come. I was really, really hoping it would come on Thursday. It did not. <laughs> Sadly. Which was, you know, a tiny bit annoying. If I'm honest. Okay. Oh, sorry. Then peach, I was really hoping I could um, get a page, the color along I really want to do from that book. I was so hoping to get it done. Um, so like this weekend so that I could kind of relax more with the book. Um, because I so want to do the Jaguar page, um, as a cover along for the channel. I think it will look super, super cool. I already have an idea on how I want to color it. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? I already have an idea. That's weird, isn't it? Okay. Maybe just a little bit more of that crimson red. I think it's looking way too much orange. <laughs> then just a little bit of that peach. Okay. Uh oh, I made an oopsie. 
maybe I can erase that. Okay. Okay. So Vanessa had a wonderful time with her grandparents. That was really nice. She hasn't really been able to sleep all that much because of her two new teeth. Tooths. What has going on here now? Seriously, like, is it just me? Huh. Okay, well, hmm. I'm gonna have to look at that on my own time. But nonetheless, let's go back in with that gel pen. I mean, it's not that good. Sometimes it's actually really nice. Okay, and that is that done. Then we are going to go over to her berries. I have one berry up here <laughs> that we have to get done. So we're gonna get that one done. Okay, but for, um, for the berries, I'm just going to do this one up here first, and we're going to move on down. I am using um, Dioxazine Purple Hue, Ultramarine, Blue Violet Lake, and Caribbean Sea. So I'm just going to sharpen. A few like these colors a little bit. There we go. And I'm just gonna sharpen ultramarine. There we go. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going in with Dioxazine Purple Hue. And now I'm going to be coloring berries for a little while because we have a lot of berries to get through. So I'm gonna chat a little bit. <laughs> what to chat about. So Vanessa was with her grandparents this weekend and she really enjoyed herself, it seemed. They gave her chocolate, <laughs> vanilla cream. Um, they spoil her to bits. <laughs> so in two weeks, Thursday in two weeks, they are going to come and pick Vanessa up to go and eat ice cream. And probably, if I know her grandmother right, a little bit of shopping. <laughs> Um, so, 
she doesn't know about, well, she has heard about it. But we'll see. So hopefully they can do that together. I think they would all enjoy doing that. Sorry. So after going in with Ultramarine, I'm going in with Blue Violet Lake. And again, like I've said, light to medium pressure. And just blending these colors together. And that berry is done. So that's just how I do it. It's so simple as that. But here we have a few more <laughs> berries. So she is meant to go in a few weeks time. They're gonna pick her up and they're gonna go into town and eat some ice cream. So that's gonna be fun. And not only that, but it's not very long until it is Easter time. So I have already planned out what I'm going to get her for her little Easter egg. So we buy this like big Easter eggs so that we can put maybe some toys in there or whatnot. But, you know, since, you know, Vanessa's a baby, she can't have everything. <laughs> it's going to be much easier next year. Um, but um, what I'm planning on getting her is some clothes. And some baby potato chips, a few smoothie bags, and um, some blueberry crisp things that is called poppies. She loves those so oh so much. So I am going to give her a bag of those, and like I said, some clothes and a little toy. So that's what she's going to get for her Easter egg this year. And obviously some of the stores have like a huge sale on candy <laughs> and such. So I am going to buy uh, some of that for Marius and I. Um... And today... Vanessa was in our jacuzzi pool for the very, very first time. She had on a bathing suit and everything. <laughs> and she really enjoyed it. It was so cute. She enjoyed it so much being in the pool. And it was so much fun seeing her like that. She was like splashing and with her water. Um you know, just really, really enjoying being in the pool. Uh, she has, like, this little donut thing that she was swimming around in. And she was, like, walking <laughs> on the pool floor. It was, it was adorable. I really had a fun time. And she was, like, laughing and smiling. And it was all wonderful. So I, I really, really enjoyed that. I really did enjoy that. It was so much fun seeing her having that much fun in the pool, in the water. And that's a good thing. She so enjoyed it. And not only that, um, she has gotten so much hair now. So it's like... Standing up, it's just everywhere. <laughs> Her hair is like everywhere. I'm not even kidding. Um, she, you know, she has just gotten so much hair. It's adorable. And I don't think I said this. Maybe I did. I can't really remember. But they have, uh, they went shopping with her on Saturday where they got her some clothes so she went clothes shopping and she came home with some really really pretty clothes new clothes
And now they are starting to get, if you know, 40% off on wool clothes for. So I am going to go mad <laughs> and buy loads for next winter. I would rather have it laying in a, you know, in our closet for six months and have a 40% discount instead of buying for, you know, $50 when I can get it for maybe 30 just an, as, an, as an example. And yeah, because wool clothes are super, super expensive. So yeah, that is something that I am looking forward to do. And it's going to be really nice. And we are also planning Vanessa's birthday. So we're gonna have two birthdays because we're gonna celebrate. Well, um, uh, the birthday with um, Marius's family. Um, we're gonna save, uh, have it at their house because there are just so many and a lot of them can't drive. So if you know, we want all of them to be here, then we're gonna have to have them at their place, and that's you know totally fine. Um, and then. <laughs> So, we're going to celebrate it on Saturday. And then on Sunday, it's a uh, birthday with my family, on my family side. And since Vanessa is not baptized, and I can understand that a lot of you maybe are Christian and you're going to be like, what? She's not baptized? Why? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I am not a Christian nor is Marius, so, and I just don't want to force her into a religion, I kind of just want her to have that option herself, if that is something, if she wants to be a Christian, that is fine by me, if she wants to be a Muslim, that's fine by me, if she wants to be a Buddha, that's fine by me, <laughs> I just want to give her the option to be whatever she wants to believe in. I don't want to force her into a religion. So, yeah. <laughs> there is that. Is that, sorry, I just have to check something. Okay. Sorry, I just really had to have a look like right there. What is that? We're just going to color it. No, it's, we're going to color it in the leaf color. Okay, so that are all of those berries done. So let's have a look at the picture and how it is looking. So it's looking very pretty. We're now going to work on her cloak hair. I am still trying to figure out how to do these. I'm kind of thinking about doing them in golden colors because of the jewelry here and such, but I'm not 100% sure, but that's at least what I am thinking so far, but let's move on to this area here. Okay. So, let's do her, um, yes, okay. Where is, there it is. Okay, so let's move on to her purple cloak here. We're going to do this little area down here. And just some little other areas <laughs> as well. So first step, we're going to use, um, I cannot for the life of me find my Prismacolor black. So I'm using a poly black. Um, but a black in purple hue, gray lavender, and white. So the first step, I am going in with my black, and I'm just adding it where 
uh, Nick Nicholas has already put down the shadow colors of where it should be in shadow. So I'm just laying that one down and then I'm going to go in with my Dioxazine Purple Hue. I am loving the paper in this book. It is so nice. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, and also, um, Marius went to dinner with some friends and he didn't care to invite me <laughs> or bring home leftovers. So he gave me some money to buy two new books. So I did that before I got the, you have to pay 50 USD to DHL, <laughs> which sucks. I'm like, why? Um, so yeah, okay. Then we're gonna go in, maybe I have to shade it a little bit more out. Especially here. Okay. And then with my gray lavender, I am going to mix those colors together. And now I am burnishing a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> I do burnish sometimes, okay? You may not believe it, but sometimes I do burnish. And when I do, I do burnish. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of white here. Maybe some even here. Okay. So, that's that one done. And I'm going to show you how to color the white. And it's just the exact same way as how I did the eyes. Just taking my slate gray and adding with the light layer where Nicholas has already put down where you're supposed to have your shadows. Like so. And voila, a white pencil. <laughs> I'm going to go in with that. It has, you know, the gray tint to it, but it also has a white tint, so it makes the fabric look white. Okay, so here is the image so far. I am going to finish up her cloak and stuff, and once I am done, um... Like with the color combinations I already showed you, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you it and that is going to be the end of this part. Then I'm going to go over to part two where we are going to do the greenery, these bits here, her jewelry and stuff, and the background. So I am just going to do the rest of her cloak and where I want to add colors. And I will be right back. Okay, so this is how far I got. I only really colored in like this bit here and just some purple up here. I was thinking about doing this uh, thing here in purple, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna see how it looks with the gold first. So this is going to be the end of part one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. I, wow, yeah, it has taken me a long time to color this page. I started it on Friday. Today, it's Monday. And as you can see, it has taken me a lot of time just to get this done. <laughs> but I am hoping I can finish this page today so I can get the both parts up for you guys. So, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, please give it a big thumbs up. If there's anything else you want to see on the channel, a book you want me to do a color along in, 
or a call or a chat and please 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 let me know in the description box below um if you don't want to uh you know write it in the description box below you can always contact me through the contact information in the description box down below and also all of the color combinations that i have used for this part is going to be in the description box below <laughs> so all of those uh, helpful informations are going to be there so just click on it and everything that you need to know is going to be there if there's anything else you want to know please let me know and of course i will get back to you anywho i hope you guys are gonna have a wonderful week i am so far because i got my daughter back home <laughs> and yeah i hope you guys have a lovely weekend stay safe and <gasps> bye all beautiful souls